What if Shane Black, the writer of classics like Lethal Weapon as well as director of Kiss Kiss Bang Bang and The Nice Guys, made Rush Hour? The movie would have probably come out differently from the buddy comedy we know today. For starters, and in order to be considered a Shane Black movie, it would probably take place during Christmas. And because of this, I like to think that the movie would have a heavier emphasis on the theme of brotherhood, much like Rush Hour 3 did, only done a lot better. But more on that later. First, let's talk about the characters. I don't think they'd be reinvented or changed wholesale so much as they would just be fleshed out a bit more. Jackie Chan's Detective Lee would still use his fists to solve his problems as opposed to firearms, but I like to think that there would be an actual reason for this. Perhaps he had accidentally shot a civilian years ago and had a Batman-like moment where he decided, no guns. Hell, this could even lead to an action sequence where Lee has no other option than to use a gun to save his partner Carter, who is being held hostage. Okay, you gonna kill me? All right, if you gonna kill me, put your gun out and fight me like a man. Because of his traumatic past, Lee would have to improvise in a distinctly Jackie Chan style. He could throw his gun at his target, disarming him and saving Carter from certain doom, but also giving his opponent another weapon in the process. Taking things even further, what if his enemy was out of bullets and he had just given him a fresh clip? To me, this wouldn't sound too out of place in a Shane Black movie, nor would it seem out of place when done with an actor like Chan. After all, Chan's most defining trait in his movies is how unprepared he is and how he always seems to take control of a situation through his use of his surroundings. As for Chris Tucker's character Carter, I think he'd be portrayed as a more pathetic and sympathetic character, much like Ryan Gosling was in The Nice Guys. Give me your left arm for this one. No! Yeah, come on. No! No! Deep breath. No. In the actual movie, he boldly runs into harm's way in the name of Glory. He also refuses to have a partner and is a bit of a laughingstock at the LAPD. Congratulations, Carter. Looks like you finally got yourself a partner. <laughs> I imagine that none of this would change, only in Shane Black's version, I think that Carter would refuse to have a partner as a cover-up for the fact that no one wants to team up with him. This would mean that internally his character is a bit more nervous and on edge, and that his bravado is actually a mask for his insecurities. Look, you know what? He was right about me, alright? I'm sorry. Are you on drugs? But this'll obviously change when he meets Lee and the two of them open up to each other. They'll bicker and butt heads like they do in the Ratner movie, but the emphasis on brotherhood will be played up more. If Chan's playing the part of the in-control character who only appears goofy and unprepared, Tucker would be filling the role of the character who appears to have the situation under control, but is privately having a panic attack. A lot of this would probably get revealed to the audience through dialogue, which has always been one of Black's strong suits. Look up idiot in the dictionary, you know what you'll find? A picture me? No! The definition of the word idiot, which you fucking are! Tucker would have no problem spitting out Black's one-liners and jokes given his background as a comedian, but Jackie Chan might call for something a little different. So much of Black's best dialogue relies on quick timing and sarcastic delivery, which is something that Chan might have trouble with because English isn't his native tongue. To get around this, I feel like it'd be pretty interesting for Chan to have more dialogue in Chinese. This would easily remedy the problem of getting the delivery right, as well as emphasize how out of place Lee feels in America. It would also lead to a pretty easy and funny interaction between Carter and Lee, with Tucker constantly having to ask Chan what he's saying. What the hell did you just say? You can even have Lee gradually speak more English as a way to give his character a bit of an arc slash have a really good payoff for when he finally says a one-liner in English. I like to let people talk who like to talk. It makes it easier to find out how full of shit they are. Now let's look at what I imagine would be the film's central theme, Brotherhood. As I mentioned earlier, it's safe to assume that Black's version of Rush Hour would take place during Christmas. And because Lee is from China, which is only about 1% Christian, he isn't really going to know much about the holiday. As Lee and Carter try and solve Soo Young's kidnapping, they're probably going to keep crossing paths with Christmas decorations and music. Lee's confusion towards these things might serve as a way to gauge his character development and understanding of his relationship with Carter. In the first act, Carter would probably explain Christmas by firing off jokes about Santa Claus with Chris Tucker's trademark squeak. But by halfway through the flick, him and Lee might share a moment where Carter gives him insight into why Christmas is about family, friends, and togetherness, something neither of them seem to have. It would probably be similar to the actual scene where they talk about their families in the movie. You dirty was a policeman? 15 years, LAPD. My father was also a policeman. Your daddy was a cop? Not a cop. An officer, a legend, all over Hong Kong. My daddy a legend too, all over America. 
You could even leave the iconic scene of them dancing to Edwin Starr's War as an auditory reference to their mission to bring peace to Soo Young's family. The idea is for the two of them to come to an understanding that they're brothers, or two sides of a coin. They complete each other. My father was just as much devoted as you, and now he's dead. And for what? A traffic ticket to some punk? You tell me what's the honor in that? You believe for your father wasted his life, that he died for nothing? You proved me wrong. I'm not gonna pretend that this is exactly how a Shane Black rush hour would have come out. There's simply no way to find out how things would have gone if Black wrote and directed the movie, nor is there much point in bickering over it. I simply thought that it would be fun to try and inject some of his style into a movie that I already enjoy just fine. But I will say one thing. Daydreaming about a reality where this happened makes me wonder. Did that universe also get Rush Hour's terrible TV adaptation? And if it did, did they ever do a crossover with the Lethal Weapon adaptation? 